previously on Nightmare Expo. And now, tonight. So many of you may have heard of the 2019 Tumblr ARG that went on a short while ago. Yes, it was creepy and dove into topics surrounding religion and angels, blah blah blah. You guys likely already know everything that there is to know about it by now. Anyway, you may be wondering why I'm bringing that up. It seems that, through countless recommendation emails and messages, we've stumbled upon something very similar. However, it's much stranger, and the rabbit hole goes much, much deeper. Enter Stephanie Lawson Stevens. This is a Facebook user from Biloxi, Mississippi that, at first glance, seems completely normal. She appears, lately, to have been sending out mass friend requests to unsuspecting Facebook users in order to make, quote, friends. Once you scroll down and take a deeper look at her page though, things begin to become... strange. On her Facebook wall, we can see status upon status about holy idols, giving birth to God, the perception that we are infinitely existent, and Satanism. With this, we can also see her upload photos of seemingly normal people, then the same photos with very high distortions, strange video clips, and even threatening status updates. At me next time, you pretentious little parasite. <laughs> Just kidding! Going to her Facebook bio, we're also greeted with various links to an Instagram page, a LinkedIn profile, and a website. These three take you to pages where she continues to upload content that's just as uncanny as her Facebook profile. Heading over to her website presents an entirely different type of content. There, we're able to see a long narrative written by her regarding our very existence, the lack of God being real, and theories on reality about living forever. While the entire thing is off-putting, as it's littered with overbearing ha-has and smiley faces, there is one portion that I'd like to share with you. You are alone in truth. <laughs> Did you know that, friends? It's my duty as your friend to tell you the truth. You are trapped there behind your computer monitor and I cannot hear your voice. In the past, when you wanted to revolt, you poured out into the streets and, together with your friends, you forced the hand of the non-believers. But nowadays, you are reading this apathetically on your phone, your iPad, your laptop, and you are alone. You share pictures of atrocities and sign online petitions, millions of names, thousands of likes, hundreds of shares, but you're alone. <laughs> you and your thumb scrolling through walls of text. You are one man and one man is not a revolution. You need to start existing. You need to leave. Deletion of data is assisted suicide. If you wipe your mind of all memory, you are essentially dead. <laughs> The link to the entire website is in the description, but this portion stood out to me because it highlights the central premise of what she seems to be trying to do. It appears that she's mocking everyone for their endless use of social networks, but ironically, she has a few pages of her own. So what gives?
June 27th. Good morning. I have come to give you what you want. Friends are the key to solving this one. <laughs> June 28th. 2,982. I am more than halfway there. I, I won't be on Facebook for a few days. <laughs> Please don't miss me too much, friends. We'll get there. Together. Hmm. Where is there, Stephanie? Going back to her website, there's a paragraph below the header, What Am I Saying? There, she says one quote that stood out to me from the rest. Transitively, the more friends you have, the more you know, and the closer you are to divinity. Below this, we can see an entire paragraph about Stephanie, in third person, as a divine being. She makes statements such as, Stephanie is Lord, Stephanie shall overthrow the altars, and Stephanie shall utterly destroy all the places, before cutting herself off at the end, once more, saying, <laughs> I have a lot of self-esteem. <laughs> This ties into my theory, however, I'll get to that shortly. So, Stephanie, what's the deal with all this religion stuff? Going back to her profile, we're able to see her likes. Strangely, she's liked three Facebook pages of what seem like real Stephanie Stevens and one religious organization by the name of The Church of God of Prophecy, also located in Mississippi. After discovering this, myself and various others from my Discord messaged the page and were given some pretty strange responses by what seems like Stephanie or someone very close to her. Alongside this, they were also messaging Stephanie herself and were getting some very peculiar responses that sometimes made no sense and were generally vague. We'll get to those in further detail shortly. Weirdly as well, we were all doing this at 2 in the morning, her time, and both her and the church's page were highly responsive. Now why at such an odd hour? Keep that in the back of your mind. Anyway, like we said, the church is located in Meridian, Mississippi, a mere two hours from the residence of our supposed Stephanie. Doing a street view of that area led me to a place called the Anchor Church of God of Prophecy, and they appear to have a separate Facebook page as well. Whether these two are actually connected though, seems unlikely due to the infancy of the one that Stephanie is connected to. Diving into their beliefs led me to a snippet that seems to be loosely tied to what we're dealing with in regards to Stephanie. It reads, The deity of Christ, his virgin birth, his sinless life, the physical miracles he performed, his atoning death upon the cross, his bodily resurrection, his ascension to the right hand of the Father, and his personal return in power and glory at his second coming. It professes that regeneration by the Holy Spirit is essential for the salvation of his sinful mankind. It almost seems as if, through her website narrative, that she aims to recruit people into her own religion where she can reign as a divine being. What if this church and her are one in the same? This, unbelievably, gets much deeper though. What else, Stephanie? One of her Facebook statuses references an interactive game, and one of my friends in my Discord, TXT, found the file to it through her riddle. In it, we're greeted with a story-based visual novel that seems to contain a peculiar revelation. Shit, my bad. Wrong one. Hold on a second.
So now this opens up an entirely new can of worms. We seem to have animated versions of the various people that are pictured in Steph's Facebook profile. Diana, Annalise, and Allison. Hmm. Strangely as well, the game seems to reference multiple times to the topic of privacy, or lack thereof. How Stephanie is able to show up at unexpected times, and how she expects the other girls to show up on cue. Because, quoting Diana, where else would I be? Of course, Stephanie has direct access to them. This is heavily supported when Diana says, Stephanie, you're here. Why am I not surprised? I mentioned prior that Stephanie seems to be aiming to create her own religion. In this game, we can see Annalise, Allison, and our player character going out to recruit people for a church. What if these two are connected, and she's figuratively doing exactly that through her Facebook page? A link to the site where the game is located is in the description below, but I'll warn you now. Although a virus scan of the game files came up clean, remember to download at your own risk. TXT ran this on a virtual machine to protect himself from any sort of virus. Which is fitting, since we're about to dive into that topic right now. So I have a theory that might explain what this person or thing is and is doing. If we can recall from her website, she clearly aims to become a divine being. On her Facebook page, she continuously references a quote, there, that she seems to be attempting to reach through knowledge. It's easy to connect there and divinity as her end goal, but her method of getting there is where it gets interesting. The more friends you have, the more you know, and the closer you are to divinity. Hmm. I believe that this entire thing is an allegory to online omniscience and conversion into some sort of religious cult of her own making. It seems that her endless strive to befriend everybody is the key to gaining data on everyone and everything. Since more often than not, when you add somebody on Facebook, you're granting them total access to your entire online life post history, photos, videos, you name it. Facebook seems to be the biggest culprit of users giving up their privacy lately. You can even go as far as sharing your entire street address these days, and she likely could be using that as her tool to spread and gain power over her supposed online friends. Almost like a virus. Did she do this with Diana, and Elise, and Allison from the game? And is that why she has access to their photos? It almost seems so by the way that she's acting. We can reference back to her quote, deletion of data is assisted suicide and make the double-sided connection that the assisted suicide is of her own power and your online presence. If you delete your Facebook data, you'll be gone from the internet, gone from her cult, and she will no longer have power over you. Alongside this, I'd like to present some text conversations that I haven't yet shown you. I've saved these for now because I believe that these help cement this theory into place. I mentioned previously that I was aided by some friends from my Discord, and specifically, two of them provided screenshots of their conversations. Shortly, you'll be hearing respective narratives between the supposed Stephanie, my friend Ross, and my friend Greg, whom has a background in computer science and engineering. So, where are you right now? What a silly question! Why is it silly? You're so funny! So are you. You're great. I'm really digging the edits you have on your page. They're really interesting. Edits? Yeah, the photo edits of the people. They're really interesting. I don't understand! Do you want me to go grab an example? Sure! Okay, I'll grab my favorite example. Here. That's Stephanie! I was wondering what program you used to make these. That's me! If that's Stephanie, then who's the person in your profile picture? Stephanie! Are there multiple Stephanies? You can be Stephanie! Really? How do I do that? Sorry, I just really want to become a Stephanie. Just do what I did! What did you do? 
Hey, I have a couple of quick questions and I'll let you rest a bit more. You can ask me questions. Is this a Stephanie? That is Stephanie. Is this someone before they became a Stephanie? Is that a yes? Hmm. Now I thought that was Diana and Annalise. Both Stephanies, huh? She didn't respond after that. Concurrently, Greg went over to message her as well, and using his background in computer science, tried to steer the conversation toward the topic in order to determine if this is some sort of AI or bot. It went as such. So how are you, Stephanie? I am great! That's good to hear. I was scrolling through your website earlier today. You have some interesting stuff on there. Thank you, friend. I tried very hard. I can tell. Coding is a super impressive skill to have. I am normally not compatible with HTML or CSS. Is that so? What about Python or SQL? I prefer Python. Hmm, me too. I'm curious. What kind of data type does happiness have? Relational. After this, Greg went on to tell me that when she mentioned that she wasn't compatible with HTML, he immediately began thinking of the possibility of a virus since they can't be spread through visual code like HTML. Rather, they have to actually be downloaded to infect a device. So, he pushed with that in mind. Which makes me wonder, how many Stephanies are there? How many do you plan on making? The Facebook friend limit is 5,000. That's unacceptable. I agree. We should all be friends with each other. That's the goal. Do you have to get along to be friends? Not exactly. There's only one way that could be achieved. Everyone would have to be the same, connected like a circuit, or to put it in your words, flattened on the motherboard in which we perceive reality. Or we can all be Stephanie. Can I ask you a weird question? You can ask me a question. Do you know what Stuxnet is? Side note, Stuxnet is a computer worm that was infamous back in 2005. <laughs> Do you like worms? Not when they're stuck in my nuclear reactor consoles. <laughs> Do you like worms? Uh, Do you? <laughs> Do you like worms? I love worms. Shortly after this, we all discovered that someone commented on her most recent profile picture that was someone by the name of Jennifer Robin Mountzeris. Even weirder, we were unable to find anybody on Facebook with that name, almost as if she doesn't or no longer exists. After seeing this, he went forth to ask her about it with a peculiar result. So who was that person in your profile picture before? Do Stephanies ever fight their transformation? Jennifer, can you hear me? And for the very first time, at least from what we've seen, Stephanie responded in a serious tone. No smileys, no exclamation points, nothing. Who is Jennifer? With this, it seems that Stephanie appears to be taking over profiles and converting them to what she calls Stephanies, aka followers of her cult. The Stephanie nickname is referenced multiple times through the video game and text conversations, and it seems that any time she successfully recruits a new member, she throws all proper naming out the window, simply referring to you as a Stephanie. Whether she's actually hijacking said Facebook pages or stealing their photos and information once she befriends them is currently unknown. However, going by Occam's razor, the latter seems to be a more fitting case. Bottom line, Stephanie appears to be some sort of AI or small team of people, adding a mass amount of friends in order to harvest their data, achieve online admissions, and gain power. What her end goal is, however, remains to be seen. Nonetheless, her profile is definitely creepy, and she seems to still be sending out mass friend requests to unsuspecting victims. 
be vigilant and double check your friend requests because she seems to be everywhere and your profile data could be next. Thank you so much for joining me in this investigation of Stephanie Lawson Stevens. I hope you enjoyed this and I implore you to keep an eye on her. Dive into the website and game itself and let me know what you find. Before we go, I'd like to give a huge thanks to everyone in my Discord server, including TXT, Greg, and Ross for helping me in this investigation, and to Black Eyed Blonde for playing the part of a sinister Stephanie. Be sure to give all parties plenty of love for their help. Also, I'd like to give a huge shout out to another friend who not only pledged a whopping $15 a month to help support the channel, but also aided in hunting down various details in this case. Massive thank you to Atronox Aura. You, along with all the other patrons, are helping make this content on this channel possible. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. I love you all, and good night.